What's up, YouTubers? Today I'll bring a deck profile on the new Gear Cardinal deck. This deck was updated from the new set Try 3 Next, which is pretty good for the deck since there's a lot more new support to it and more combo to play. So let's go and start it. For starting Manga, we have Corner Drain. Everyone knows by now Corner Drain is a 4 runner, and second building is GB1. When this unit will place to the buying zone from rear, you may pay the cost. By putting this unit back to the soul, you could search up your deck for one. Grade 3 with Corner Jet in its name and color to rare, and at the end of the turn, we turn that unit to back to your hand. So, what's good about this is that uh, it's not time leap, so anything that would move this unit from the rear guard to the bind zone allows you to activate this ability. Let's say you're playing against Nubatama and you have GB1, they bind your Corner Drain, you can activate this ability. It never says when this moves from rear guard to the bind zone by one of your ability. All it says that is when this unit is moved to the buying zone from rear. So it allows you to activate the skill right away. So it gives you a free unit. And also it gives you a strike cost for you next turn. Or I mean you could discard it for perfect guard or anything. Like the new G Guardian too. Moving on to grade 3 we have 4 Chrono Jet Dragon G. What's good cool about Chrono Jet Dragon G is that there's no GB skill to it. But... Its first skill is, during your turn, this unit gains 5k for each 2 face up uh, cards in your G zone. It's kind of like GB2 since you need 2 face up uh, at the time to activate the ability. But during late game, what's good about it is that if you have 10 face up G unit, this unit gains 25k power. So it becomes a 36. And also that it gains 1000 for all your Zodiac Time Beast rear guard for each 2 face up as well. So when you have 10 face up, your Corner Jet Dragon G gains 25k sheer, 25k power and all your rear guard gains 5k power as well. So if you have a Corner Jet Dragon G on the rear guard, uh, it's a 16 on its own. Second ability is uh, on sh Shride. Whenever you Shride a Zodiac Time Beast or Gear Dragon, you can choose a card from your hand to call it. You don't have to. What's Good is the second ability is that you can choose one of your guard and time leap it. That's the main part. The first the first part is so that if you have an empty rear guard, you may use that skill to call a unit to your hand from your hand and time leap that unit. That's all it's for. But when you have a board, let's say you have corner drain, most of the time you go for corner drain since when you strike into the split pegasus, you time leap corner drain that give you a grade one and a grade three. And then you use Spit Packing Skill to downgrade the grade 3 to get 2 grade 2 out. So that's a 3 unit right away for just one shot. That's why it's good. Then moving on, we play 4 Corner Jet Dragon. Our old card, it's pretty good as well. Even if you ride it, you still have effect, which is GB2. During your turn when this unit attacks, it gains 5k and your opponent cannot guard with grade 1 or higher. So it's like a Glory Maelstrom, which no cost to it except GB2 and also second ability is on shot whenever you shot you could pay the cost by counter boss 1 and choose one opponent's rear guard to send it to the bottom of the deck it is there for clear your opponent's board like let's say your opponent playing against you're playing against a uh, dimension please they have Laurel on the board you don't want to, to keep that Laurel so you can just bounce it to the bottom of the deck that's what it's good for most of the time you go to G anyway since a lot of the cards rely on Zodiac Time Beast Vanguard too. So that's why you try to go to G instead of Corner Jet. But if you have to, you can still ride it. It has a Corner Jet in its name. So it's not that big a problem. Then moving on to Grade 2, we play uh, this Grade 2. I'm not sure what the name Loru, I believe. Uh, skill is when this unit attacks, if you have a Zodiac Time Beast Vanguard, it gains 2k. So it's 11k on its own since. Corner Jet Dragon G is a Zodiac Time Beast, but when you have Corner Jet, it doesn't gain this 2k. Second ability is GB1. Uh, when you when your Vanguard attack and you dry check, if you reveal a grade 3 uh, from the dry check, you could Soul Blast 1 and time leap this unit. So it gives you an extra attack, which allows you to bring a grade 3 out. That's what is good. Next, we play. Four of the ship shift bullet dragon. Uh, this card is really good too. Uh, first ability is a G, even though it's a GB two, 
but I mean it's pretty easy to do now since most of the first turn shy allows you to flip one unit and give you a GB2 right away. So it's good, it's kind of awesome. one at the end of the turn uh, you may retire this unit and if you do you can search up for two corner jet with different name in car name and then reveal them from the deck. Choose one to call to the rear guard, the other one add it to your hand. Secondly is when you have a Colonel Jet Vanguard, this unit gains uh, 2k when it attacks. So it's also an 11k, which what's good about it is that you could combo this like I said before when you stride into split Pegasus uh, with Colonel Jet G as your Vanguard. You timely Colonel uh, Dre for grade 1 and the grade 3, either one's fine. Split Pegasus uh, downgraded for each one of each. Which is really good. It gives you a column col right away and they all hit since this is all 11k. Then moving on, we'll play 3 History Maker. History Maker is still good. I mean, it helps you time leap, that's why you need it. Since the decks still rely on time leap. Then moving on to grade once, we have 4 PG. Uh, for Pregard, still the O ones to unflip damage since deck still counterbalance heavy with crossover and all the other stuff. That's why you still want the cost so that you can counter charge. Then we play three Strider, uh, Strider Father. This is good because uh, this deck now that it really rely on Corner Jet, the Grade Three itself, so that you still need cards to Strider. Uh, with crossover, you call them to the board. You don't have it in your hand to try. And if you uh, split Pegasus with Colonel J, the Great Three returns to the deck, so you don't get one at the end of the turn. So that's why uh, you need Strider. That's why three is fine. Then we play three Melon. Still good 11k attacker. I mean, if you downgrade a Great Two with split Pegasus skill, you can call two Melon and they can attack from the front row with 11k as well. Then we play two uh Jack. Uh it's Zodiac Beast and it's an eleven K as well when you have a So Zodiac Time Beast Vanguard. So it's like Melon, but what's the difference is that this doesn't return back to deck for a great zero for you, but Melon does. Then we play one Steam Maiden Mashika. I'm not sure what the name. Skill is G B one. Uh, when this unit is called from, uh, when this is called to the rear guard from the deck with due to one of your time leap ability, which you time leap drain and then you call a great one, you call this behind Vanguard. Uh, you could rest this unit and it allows you to draw a card, then choose a unit plus 4k. So it's pretty good since it's a free card that you drew and you one of your unit also gains 4k, that's something that doesn't hit. Allows you to gain that 4k, allows you to hit your opponent. Then moving on to grade zeros, we play one TikTok worker. Uh, it's limited to one, so we play one and no starting Vanguard, but still good. Since you could call Melon uh, early game and then call this out, and next turn, when you time leap something again, you get Melon all again, you could do this combo anyway, which is pretty good. Then moving on, we play four Rabbit Crit for our. Uh, heart trump worker. It's for Colonel Jet. Uh, you should play four because Colonel Jet G is still Colonel Jet. So if you go to the next stage or gear groovy after that, you still need a power. I mean, if for Colonel Jet G, G, you don't really need that power, but you want the uh draw power, so you should play it. Then one more the crit. It's fine. What whatever crit is fine. We play night crit total for this deck. Then moving on, we play four heal. Heal Trigger, uh, G Guardian, and it looks nice. You really need it since you need to heal. Then we'll play two Draw Trigger. Uh, the deck does need draw power because early game, uh, you're not guaranteed to have a good hand, so the draw is still good. And then we'll play one copy of the Sand Trigger. Sand Trigger is still played because it's there so that when you go for a Melon, the so combo still go off, and it allows you to cycle your, like, uh, change your hand when you have a bad hand. 
and you draw two, return one, so it actually changes your hand a lot. Let's say you go for the next stage and you time lead this with uh, History Maker first. Uh, you get to change your hand for back, return back a trigger, so this way you have a better chance to hit a trigger. Returning the same trigger that's already one, scale return another one that's two trigger, so you boost a bit of your chances for trigger when you dry check. Then moving on to the strike, we play uh, two Pegasus. Pegasus is there so that you uh, you can have a power boost as well. So that uh, when you shine when you shine into this, uh, he has two ability. First ability is that on G zone, as long as for each face up Pegasus, I believe. Yeah, if this card is face up. Uh, all your zodiac type beast unit in the front row gains a thousand. So um, it's close to Chrono Jet Dragon G's ability. So if you have two phase up, all your front row zodiac type beast gains 2k. Uh, second ability is Counterbus. Once per turn, Counterbus 1, choose one of your unit from your field and return it to the deck. Then you may downgrade it and superior call 2 unit by that grade. So if you return a Chrono Jet, Dragon or Chrono Dragon G, that which is grade three. By downgrade it, it's grade two, and you can call up to two grade two to the board, which you call this and this. Uh, and you have a column right away, which that's what we said about the combo. Then we play for next stage. Next stage still our the car, the main card to finish, since next stage allows you to do a second hack with Chrono Jet Dragon G or Chrono Jet. With Chrono Jet Dragon G, your whole board gains a lot of power. Uh, Chrono Jet Dragon, your force your opponent well, with guarding restriction. That's why it's good. Then we play one uh, Honglon. Uh, Honglon is a Gear Dragon, or it's also Zodiac Time Beast. Uh, skill is uh, Counter Mass 1. Uh, at the end of the battle that this unit attacks, uh, you may you pay the cost if you do choose a card from your bind zone. You may call it to the rear or add it to your hand, so it gives you extra attack or choose a card to bounce it back to your hand, so you get another card in your hand. Uh, but most of the time when you go to spit Pegasus after your first try, you flip Honglon first, so that this way you already uh, get a Gear Dragon already, and after you could go to Gear Groovy uh, with. Gear Groovy's second ability, so that's one to gain 5k. You could get a uh, next stage and then you could copy next stage and Hanlon's ability, which that's two Gear Dragon. Or you could copy uh, a Fate Rider Dragon. Fate Rider is good because late game when you have a lot of shy on your G zone, face up. Uh, second ability is that it gains 3k to unit. That card actually gave a lot of boost. Uh, the first part, which once per turn you could choose a unit to return it, and I believe was upgraded instead of downgrade. Yeah, this is upgrade instead of downgrade, and for each face up in your card in your G unit, G zone, uh, you may choose a unit to gain 3k, so you can split that 3000 power among your unit. You don't have to give it all to one unit, that's the good part. And we have our new card. Which is Chrono, uh, not it's interdimensional dragon crossover dragon. Crossover dragon is good because it gives you a column, which uh, two column actually two Chrono Jet dragon. So that they had to be in different names, so it has to be Chrono Jet Dragon G and Chrono Jet. So that uh, they also gain the skill to it. If one of them attack hits, you can still charge Chrono Jet Dragon or Chrono Jet Dragon G into the soul and restand your Vanguard. Even though Counter Bass 2 is heavy, but this is also a Gear Dragon, so that you could copy this, this, or this, and Chrono Jet Dragon next stage. From Groovy's ability, uh, what's nice that if you copy Crossover and next stage, and you don't have a board. Crossover actually, with crossover skill, you actually gain the board with two corner jet to the side. And let's say your, your opponent is like four damage and they can't really guard your attack. You could copy uh, crossover and next stage. And by calling two corner jet, you attack with groovy first. 
triple drive. You don't use next stage skill if they guard it. And then if one of the rear guard hits, then you stand groovy. And after groovy attack again, you could use Kurunja next. You could use next stage's skill. So that's a double restand, and uh, which is nice, but. That usually don't happen since you don't copy a double stand manga skill unless you're missing the board and you want to hit for chances. Then for G Guardian, we'll play two, uh, same way that Arlom. Arlom's good, uh, I mean, you, when you, when you put this into a Guardian circle, you could choose two corner jet with different name from either your drop zone or, or your hand. Let's say you choose one from your drop zone and you choose one from your hand, you return to the bottom deck. This unit gains 15k shield, so it's a 30k shield uh, G-Guard. And allows you to have a uh, two, make sure you have two uh, corner jet in your deck so that you could uh, call it out with crossover next turn. Then we play two Oruru. Oruru's still good, uh, it allows you to bounce unit so that uh, when you you could return some heal trigger. And lastly, we play one of the Hedor Dragon. Uh, just one's fine. I mean, it helps you to bounce uh, your opponent's rear guard with heavy numbers. Let's say they gain a lot of power, you could bounce that unit back and they lose all that power. So. There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys next time.